is electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another video, probably the last video of 2023. Today I want to talk about thermal imaging cameras. You probably know that I've already got a thermal imaging camera inside my mobile phone. Um, I've got a Doogie V20 Pro, which has an inbuilt thermal imaging camera. So when I was offered the opportunity to test these from Top Don, TC View 001 and 002 for Apple, for the Lightning connectivity, and for Android with the USB-C connectivity. I was given the opportunity to try these, so I thought I'd see whether they're any good and how they compare to the mobile phone that I've got from Doogie. Actually, they're, they're similar prices for the mobile phone which has it inbuilt, or for one of these that plug into your either tablet or mobile phone. So from a non-professional point of view, I'm not an expert at uh, thermal imaging, I'm not an expert with cameras, etc. Let's see what you get inside the box, how easy it is to connect and how easy they are to use. Keep watching until the end of the video, because at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how you could win one of these. Well, I'm going to choose someone randomly to give away one of these two. Um, I've got an Android device that uh, this will work well with, but I don't have an Apple device. So because I've been sent both, I'm going to give away the Apple version. So with the video stream sped up a bit, because we don't want to waste time watching me unbox something, especially when I'm so clumsy at it sometimes, inside the cardboard box, there's a little hard case. It also comes with an instruction booklet, which basically is like one of these um, put together IKEA jobs, you know, instructions one to five. And basically all it is, is uh, download an app on your mobile device. Inside the hard case, that's what you get. The top on plug-in infrared camera with a USB adapter cable and a screen lens wipe. That's it. It's nice and simple, isn't it? So uh, I'd say it's a bit bigger than a USB stick. Um, it's metallic. It's not cheap and plasticky. It feels quite robust and solid. The one I'm going to give away is the iOS one. So that's the one I'm not opening. iOS lightning cable TC002. So the instructions basically tell you to go to the Play Store or your App Store and uh, look for the TC001 app. Which is easy, easy to find. Nice and quick to download. Remember this is sped up a little bit. You load up the app, accept the terms, allow a couple of permissions for the camera and the microphone and those sort of things, and storage because it has to save videos and uh, that sort of thing. And then basically you plug it in. When it's plugged into the USB, there's a little light at the side to say it's powered on. Click the thermal imaging camera, and then away you go. So whatever you point at, it shows you the temperature. So you can see hot spots and cold spots. You can see the variations in color. But then also on the screen, it's showing you the lighter the color, the more yellow. The warmer something is, the darker the color, the more black or dark blue it is, then the colder the color. And it's showing you variations. You can change the colors and have different color schemes there if you want. Anyway, here I plugged it into my tablet because I thought the bigger screen might be more useful as a demo. Give it a good shake to see that it's solid and doesn't fall off. Yeah, I actually think it works better on this tablet than the mobile phone. Then I did a screen record so you can see what I'm actually going to do and have a look at. I start by scanning around the window in our kitchen. So what I can see here is it does show the definition of some of the items, but they are a little bit difficult to see so sometimes looking at this video you might think what on earth is he looking at like what is that down there but what I'm looking for are hot spots or cold spots so there's a uh, an Amazon plug that's in use and as you can see it's warm it's bright yellow and around the windows and doors you can see the uh, blacker dark blue areas that's where it's coldest and that's why you get condensation <coughs> And that's why you get condensation around the edges of windows, because that's where they are the coldest. But it's very interesting to see, you know, the hinge areas, the handle areas, they are the coldest. Here's our front door, and it looks like you can see immediately at the bottom of the door, that's where it's coldest. So a little sausage dog at the bottom of the door there would help with a little bit of insulation, wouldn't it? Other than that, a little bit around the... Um, letterbox area as well but other than that our front door is actually quite well insulated so this is what it's useful for scanning around your home looking for things that you didn't realize where drafts are coming through where cold air is coming through and then you can uh, 
adjust, use silicon sealants, um, get some extra insulation. You can do whatever it takes to improve the uh, thermal efficiency of your home. And that's where these devices are really, really useful. And it's also fascinating to have a look around. It's amazing what you can find useful, whether it's wildlife you're looking at, whether it's cars, heaters, anything you want, really. So as I scan, I don't know where I'm going to scan here. Do I scan up and look at the heater? Yes, I do. There's my air conditioning heater, so a Toshiba heater. And it's outputting 32 degree uh, air by the look of that. While the uh, wall below it is 17 degrees. Interesting one of the light socket, the actual connector is warm because this is an LED bulb, so the bulb itself isn't getting warm. So going back to the original question, how does this compare to the uh, thermal camera in my mobile phone? I've got to say, effectively, they're both the same. The mobile phone app, though, is a little bit better that it blends an actual image and shows you a drawed line image of what you're looking at, as well as the thermal imagery. So I find the mobile one that I have just a fraction better. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. And if this appeals to you after seeing this video, then I'm going to be giving one of these away. The Android one is fine for me. But this iOS one, I don't have any iOS devices, so I'm going to be giving it away. All you've got to do is get yourself over to Twitter or X, whatever it's called now. Send me a direct message and let me know what you would use it for. Obviously, you need an Apple iPhone with lightning connector for this to work. But send me a message. Let me know what you'll use it for. And uh, I'll choose someone at random. Not really a competition, but somebody that's watching my videos, following me over on Twitter. I want to share the love around. I've got two of these. So I'm going to give one away and cheer someone up in the new year. Thanks again for watching. Take care. See you again soon for more energy related videos. Next one, uh, I think I'm going to be talking about export. Something really, really exciting has been happening. And I sort of watch it every day now. The data is interesting to me and the changes that I'm having to make are fascinating me as well. So if you love the detail of all those sort of things about energy, prices, data, and uh, the right efficient tariffs, then yeah, that video is going to really appeal to you. Take care. See you again soon. Bye for now.